Hey guys, it's Jessica, and today I am just sharing a little bit of my experimentation with the Zig Clean Color Reel Brush Set. Um, I got the set of 80. Here you can see this is how I colored this set from Lawn Fawn with my Copic markers. Um, and I wanted to see how it compared to use the Zig uh, Brush set instead. Uh, so there I have some Tim Holtz watercolor paper or cardstock I should say and I am stamping on the smooth side so it has two sides that you can use either side whichever one you prefer. Um, I'm using the smooth side because I figured that would be easier to spread my color around than the textured side um, and I'm just using some Versamark ink to uh, apply my stamp to the cardstock. Um, so there you can see my set. I have 80 colors. I went ahead and got the whole set. I really probably didn't need to um, and I'll probably find that I use certain ones more than others but I am a bit of a completionist and when there's a set of something to be had I, I don't know. It's like a complex. I have to get them all. Um, so I figured I might as well just go ahead and buy them all so I didn't have to chase them down later. Um, and I got a pretty good deal when I bought them. So there they are. And in a second, you're going to get to see me um, make up. Oh, there it is. A little bit of an oops. <laughs> I didn't really mean to do that initially. And then I got halfway through it and I was like, well, <laughs> no recovering from that. So I had a little bit of difficulty finding the colors. You can see they have the color on the bottom of them. Um, but when you're looking at them all from the top, it's really difficult to tell what colors you're looking at. Um, what I had intended to do originally was sort of tip the container uh, sort of at an angle so that I could see the colors from the bottom and then they all just dumped out on the table. So, oh well. <laughs> um, so what I'm doing is I'm just applying a little bit of color to the little scales on the back of this dino. Um, and this is a Lawn Fawn set called Critters from the Past. Super adorable as always. That's to be expected from Lawn Fawn. And I'm using a Jane Davenport water brush that I just picked up at Michael's. Um, to go ahead and blend out the color. Now, sorry, I'm left-handed and my hand is kind of in the way. Um, you'll be able to see what I'm doing there in a second. You can kind of see that the color is blending out and it's super soft. I wanted the scales to be way lighter than the rest of it. Uh, so I went ahead and used the, uh, the water brush, like I said, and now I'm going back and applying some of the darker color, um, just kind of I don't know, I, I didn't really have any rhyme or reason to this. I was just putting the darker color up at the top. Um, and I just wanted to see how they worked as far as coloring in an image went. Um, I have done just very, very minimal experimentation with them so far. So forgive me for not being a master at this yet. <laughs> I still need a ton of practice. So you are with me on my journey. Um, and have faith. If you are not very good at using these yet, uh, me either. So we're right there. Oh, I'm right there with you. Um, okay, so I went ahead and just blended out that purple with the water brush. And then I went ahead and uh, kind of squirted out a little extra water and scribbled off the color from my brush onto a paper towel just to sort of clean it. Um, and then I went back in with a little bit more just to give it a little bit of shading. Um, and I, I was just experimenting with these colors. Um, I went back in, you can see, and added more dark. Um, I just, like I said, was really interested in seeing what it looked like when you did something like this. This is kind of the process that I would go through with my Copic markers, is to add down the lightest color and then add, um, you know, a medium and then a dark and blend it all together. So, I don't know. I was just experimenting and playing around, so... That's that. And there's my little dinosaur. I think he's pretty cute. Um, he's not perfect, but uh, I think it's cute. And I really like the color because who says dinosaurs have to be green? Not me. That's for sure. Okay, so whoa, huge skip right there. I didn't realize my camera wasn't on when I was coloring this guy, um, but I went through the same process. I just used a different color family. Um, I went out of the lines a ton. So you can see... Um, it's crazy how much I used way too much water is basically what it boils down to. And I was trying to go back through with my gel pen and go over it, but it was still wet. Um, so the gel pen didn't really do a whole lot for me. But then when it did dry, I went back and added um, some little white dots to the back, which you can see in the picture here in just a second. But I didn't bother going through and coloring all of the uh, out of the lines areas. 
so that's just a peek at my first little foray into the Zig Clean Color Wheel brush. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.